I have been trying to talk my wife into a minivan for maybe six years because I think they're like space shuttles from Star Trek. And she's been like, no, no, then I'll be a soccer mom and I won't be anything else and they're too big. And I'm like, no, just three years and then we'll get something that'll save the planet. We'll go electric in three years. Hi, get out here. So I got a car on Carvana and this video is about the car being delivered to us and all the things that happened in the parking lot there and the truck coming and it's also about our trade-in and uh, I have a part of it with some signing of papers that you'll just see like my thumb because the audio is important and uh, there's some issues we had uh, once it came that I wanted to see if Carvana took care of because I have a little bit of stock in them that I got because I thought coronavirus might bump them and did. And I wanted to see how they handled these issues. Uh, they weren't that serious, but one of them was some dead mice. Um, so they handled everything. Um, they had me go to the dealer to check the soundproofing and they replaced the strap. Uh, later in a couple days, um, they had an alternator go, sort of. I think the kids wore the battery down. Uh, with the doors. Take off. Airlock, airlock. Deep pressure. So fascinated by the doors. And um, later on, I realized I should get that checked. And so they had me check that locally, even no deductible, uh, and did everything, uh, no cost. But anyway, let's take a look at the progression in real time of the whole experience, uh, including a test drive. Uh, and um, then we'll end with some photographs of, of it coming home and how much stuff I fit in it on like the first day. Also, there's a part in it when my wife talks about this time when uh, she wanted to collect urine for this project in Vermont that collects it for farmers because Tea has a lot of uh, nitrogen in it. it. Sounds disgusting, and it is in the collecting stage, and I it was not my idea, and some spilled in our old car, and she'll talk about that. But uh, it is a great program, though, I have to say, getting farmers um, distilled nitrogen uh, for, for Vermont farmers, but um, kind of disgusting. We didn't do it for long, and I just wanted to say that. Not my idea. I was an accomplice, though, so. All right, here we go. Super torturous small car baby seat extraction. You can always do this without breaking a sweat. Not me. <laughs> Not that we needed to, but we cleaned the whole car. Um, as much as we could. Oh God, I can't believe you guys did that to the, maybe we didn't get that. But we cleaned as much as we could. This car's been thrashed by kids since they were born. Look at that, that's disgusting. Well, it's better than having 482 scratches on your eye. Lesson number one, buy seat covers before you have children. In seven years, we managed to not shampoo the upholstery of the car a single time, except for that one time, <laughs> that one summer when we'd been collecting our urine <gasps> to donate to the Rich Earth Institute for them to make fertilizer. And it spilled in the back of the car. <laughs> and it took us a couple of months to like really get the smell out. A lot of baking soda, a lot of vinegar, a lot of carpet shampoo. But in all of that, we managed to not clean the rest of the upholstery at all. I'm not sure if that's bragging right, mm -hmm. but it's true. <laughs> I mean, we might as well call it that and let the world tell us no. Right. Yeah, we put seat covers on instead of fully shampooing. Without fully shampooing before. Why? Because we're lazy. I don't feel any particular nostalgia for this car, which I feel a little guilty about. The 09 Subaru? Yeah, like, it, it feels like it just sort of absorbed 
it was it was the ultimate background of the of like the the messy slobbering of our lives for the last seven years like all of like the Since drool the kids were born yeah like all the drool and the food <laughs> and the fights and the screaming and all of that stuff just like is absorbed into its dirty upholstery and like i don't remember most of it i'm not gonna miss a lot of that stuff and this car i feel like really in this moment is is embodying that yeah we got and we got this I, i'm fine with moving it along i have no feelings and we got it used for my only feeling is guilt that i don't feel more <laughs> we got it used for sixteen thousand with forty thousand miles seven years ago and it's an 09. it was great in the snow i had to drive in the snow up up a uh up a mountain road, um, killer in the snow. With snow tires, Michelin X ice, this super far Sturk would go through a foot of snow unplowed. Um, and it did absorb everything and never broke down, but boy, did it need a lot of work at 104,000 miles. So it was a perfect time to trade it in. I must feel guilty about now that, we're but gonna they're gonna take it. I can't see well. Sorry. I'll just do a mask. Oh, oh look. There it is. I see yonder. There it is. Are you recording? I am. Paprika. <laughs> Paprika arrived. Don't Here it comes. Paprika. Here it is. Let's get on the grass. Paprika. This is really exciting. What a cute little truck. I'm a teeny bit disappointed that it wasn't like a 15 car carrier, like the kind you see from dealerships, but you know, it's fine. Remember the part about the loading dock. So you guys are gonna look for dings and scratches and nicks. There's all sorts of maple helicopter confetti. Uh, yes. Um, oh, we have to take the pictures with our license. We have to take pictures of the me with my license, the insurance, and we have the title of our old beat up 09 Subaru. Looks okay on the outside. It needs a lot of work though. Here it goes. Like it, honey. Oh, you, you can be it's something. It's, it's red. You're not just a soccer mom. I'm not a soccer dad. Plus, we, we have the flowers and chamomile. Paprika. These have the automatic doors. She's she's sighing deep. We're gonna have to go electric in two years. Yeah, it's good motivation. So far it looks great. We did find a strap missing to remove that center seat on the second row. But he's taking a picture, he sees the problem and he says they'll take Carvana takes care of it if it's a they document the case on pickup. Because we don't we want to pick it up. You have a seven day return, but we want we want it and we like it so far. Close 
Closing shuttle bay doors for clearance. Take off. Airlock, airlock. Depressurized, pressurized. My wife said it felt like being in an airplane, but there's more room. It's easy to almost feel like you're not driving, even at the 2015. Yeah, the first time I was in a test driving, I like literally for an instant forgot I was driving. It was sort of a terrifying feeling. Uh, I'm going south. Um, Testing the AC. It's really easy to cruise at a little faster than you should because ah. our cat are you going what? Better, better pick up from the Subaru. It's it's handy that the controls are a lot the same as our other Toyota. Which is because, a 2010 Corolla. Yeah, because I just put it on cruise control to stop from zooming all the way up to 80 with like absolutely no effort. The pickup is a lot better than the Forester. Which is crazy because it, like, when you put them side by side, this has like twice the volume of the Forester. It gets the same mileage as an eight, as a 09 Forester, but not as the new ones with the CVT transmission. You can slip them. Mm -hmm. Well, along with the LPOA. What's a VIN inspection? So it is Tuesday, you have until Monday if I can to process so and there's a number provided. Keep in mind there's no restocking fee if you decide to return or swap it out for another deal. Any questions regarding that form? Mm -hmm. Alright, so this next form is provided by Bruce Press, which is our servicing partner for the loan. It provides you with payment options if you haven't set that up yet. Carvana app and auto pay typically is the two most common, but you do have other options as well, as well as a point of contact if you have questions setting that up. What happens, to the, what happens to the $5,087 that is the trade-in? It was taken off the cost, so our, our loan is $13,000. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's basically rolled over. Into Which we can pay off with no penalty. Yes. Anything. Yeah, no, no, uh, if we don't want to pay the 4%, which is about $2,000 in 69 months. <laughs> That's a breakdown of your limited warranty. I'm just like looking very serious. I'm actually just squinting. It's very <laughs> no worries. <laughs> That's a breakdown of your limited warranty, provided complimentary standard or because we purchased a Carvana. It's 100 days, 4,189 miles. Goes over your zero dollar deductible as long as you get there for first off, which is actually like the dealer, for example, as well as a number for roadside assistance and so, and so forth. It also reviews other information like what's covered and what's not covered. Do you have any questions regarding that? So for no. the first 100 days, if something happens, we should go to the dealer. Basically. And we purchased the two-year stuff too. Good, good. So that should be reflected in your contracts. Feels great. Feels like literally you're not, not driving much. Amazing. 